in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful. Dear third grade students at the Faculty of Commerce at Panha University, this is our fourth recorded lecture of the course of the statistical forecasting techniques. Let's start and pay attention. The correlation coefficient. The correlation coefficient measures the strength and the direction of a linear relationship between two variables. The symbol for the correlation coefficient is R. As mentioned before, it is a relative measure of the linear association between two numerical variables. It can vary from zero, which indicates no correlation to plus or minus one, which indicates perfect correlation when the correlation coefficient is greater than zero the two variables are said to be positively correlated. When one is large, the other is large. And when it is less than zero, they are said to be negatively correlated. When one is large, the small is small. The other is small. As presented in this figure, when R or the correlation coefficient equal positive one there is a perfect correlation and it can be represented by this figure this figure when it is a perfect correlation but when r is strong positive correlation the R will be close to positive 1, as mentioned in this figure. There is a relationship between correlation and regression. It can be established by examining the formulas used to determine the slope of a simple linear regression. And the formula used for computing the correlation coefficient is as follows. We check it in the last lecture. B equal to the summation of xi minus x bar times yi minus y bar. This is divided by the summation of xi minus x bar squared, which is equal to the covariance of x and y over the variance of x. And we know that the correlation coefficient, which is R, denoted by R, equal to the covariance of X and Y divided by the standard deviation of S and the standard deviation of Y. We can there is another important correlation to consider in regression. Once the regression model has been estimated, that is the least squares the estimates of the regression coefficient have been obtained, then all the known y values can be compared with all the estimated y values. Using the regression line, the estimated y values are designated y hat, and we have the identity which we mention it in the second and third lecture which is yi equal the pattern which is y hat and it is equal to a plus b x i plus the error or the e i which is equal to y hat minus y i sorry y i minus y hat in the name of allah the entirely merciful the specially merciful dear third grade students at the Faculty of Commerce at Panha University. This is our fourth recorded lecture of the course of the statistical forecasting techniques. Let's start and pay attention.
we should to know the another measure of how well the model has fitted the data is the standard deviation of the errors or residuals as we said in the first surface lecture which is often known as the standard error of the regression and it is calculated by it is the summation of e i squared over n minus 2 it is the square root of all of what I said notice that this calculation is slightly different from the usual standard deviation where here we divide by n minus 1 in standard deviation we divide by n minus 1 but here in this formula we divide by n minus 2 because we have estimated two parameters the intercept and the slope in computing the, the residuals or the errors normally we only need to estimate the mean i e or the mean of it one parameter when computing a standard deviation the divisor is always n minus the number of parameters estimated in the calculation. The standard error is related to the size of the average error that the model produces. We can compare this error to the sample mean of y or with the standard deviation of y to, go to gain some perspective on the accuracy of the model. The correlation coefficient. The correlation coefficient measures the strength and the direction of a linear relationship between two variables. The symbol for the correlation coefficient is R. As mentioned before, it is a relative measure of the linear association between two numerical variables. It can vary from zero, which indicates no correlation to plus or minus one which indicates perfect correlation when the correlation coefficient is greater than zero the two variables are said to be positively correlated when one is large the other is large and when it is less than zero they are said to be negatively correlated when one is large the small is small the other is small.